I am Live TV is back, and of course, my co host today is Mark Menendo. Thanks for having me back on the show. It's always I a pleasure. Know, it's I good to see you. you. I miss you a lot. I miss you too. It's good to be back, really. Well, we have Exciting a guest times. here, and maybe you can introduce our wonderful guest today. Well, you know, we talked about it earlier that this is uh, election season. So we have a lot going on in the community. As you've seen, people driving down the street, they see all the campaign signs, they see the, the, the mailers, they see TV, radio. There's a lot going on. But there's a big race coming up uh, as well, and that's for sheriff. And today, uh, we have Mr. Tim Bedwell, who is running for sheriff. And this is the first time you've run for office. So we have a first time candidate running for office. But before we get into why you're running and all that, because I know the viewers want to know, could you give us a little bit about yourself? I know you were a Marine and thank you very much for your service. We appreciate that. Tell us about yourself and your, your lovely family and, and, and just what got you to this point because it's very impressive record. I, um, I joined the Marine Corps in 1975. I was a Marine for 20 years. I retired in 1995. Um, the best assignment I ever had in the Marine Corps was for five years I was in charge of embassy security detachments at embassies in Madagascar, Jamaica, and Greece. When I left the Marine Corps, I, I wanted to stay in public service, so I became a police officer. And I worked in Yuma, Arizona as a deputy sheriff. Then I was a police officer in Gilbert, Arizona. That's a suburb of Phoenix. Mm. And then I came here and I did a ride along in North Las Vegas. I was a little bored in, in the East Valley of Phoenix. So I did a ride along in, uh, in North Las Vegas and they hired me off my resume and I was here a couple weeks later. Really? And I've, I've worked for North Las Vegas for 16 years. I retired wow. last year to run for this office. You know, I have a wonderful family. I, um, you do. I do have a big family. I've, Four daughters and, a, and two sons, and um, careful. We had two grandsons and two granddaughters until the day before yesterday when we when we got another grandson. Oh well, congratulations! Oh, so, this is a really special a, time. A for very you growing life. family we have. Here. Oh, that is exciting. Good for you. Wow. My wife Michelle, uh, she has a marketing company here, and uh, she's also part of the campaign, uh, more so than most wives, I think. Sometimes mm -hmm. um, she goes pretty much everywhere with us mm -hmm. and she handles all our marketing so that's awesome it's a tight not tight knit, fam knit family we have uh, we have a lot going on though I'm sure you do and you know it's really I, I, when I first ran for office uh, it was it was my entire family it was part of my, my right. campaign because you know, we didn't have the money and the, the resources we didn't have the endorsements and so it was really it was a grassroots it was you know mom sister you know uh, brother-in-law friends, neighbors, and that's what we built it around it. And, and so I, I commend that, because that's important. It is honor also for you to serve this for how many years in the Marine? 20 years in the Marine. 20 years. I, I want to bring, I'm so sorry, I want to bring out our uh, running uh, Congress District 3, no other than Attorney Stephen Shipman. I heard that he is excited having question to you. Uh, you have a question to our running uh, sheriff, right, Stephen? Hi, how are you? Hi, Stephen. Uh, How are you? The, the, the question that I really have is that considering that Clark County is so large, and during my campaign going down to Lofman and around the entire district, the concern seems to be that uh, law enforcement is structured, is centered on the strip, on the tourists, but most of the people seem to be ignored. Community policing, Lofman, or in Summerlin. Uh, seems to be ignored in favor of the tourist downtown strip area. And I noticed that in your website, you kind of say you want to focus on that. Uh, the status quo does that. What can be done to really uh, help the local community outside of the district of the tourists are? Well, there's a couple of things. First of all, I believe in community policing across the entire jurisdiction. So I believe we should do more community policing type of policing on the Strip itself. A lot of times what you see on the Strip are police officers <coughs> that are there on overtime. They don't work that area. They don't have an understanding and a knowledge of the people that are there that I would want to see. So first of all, one of, the, one of those components would be to make the Strip policing more like the rest of the way, the way we do policing across the rest of the, of, of the valley. 
I also believe that we need to restructure the supervision for the outlying areas. Laughlin Mesquite, for example, uh, officers that, are, that live there and, and patrol there, they report to a lieutenant that runs an area command in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Now that doesn't really make much sense to me. If you're in Overton, for example, you work Overton, policing there is much different than it is in the Northeast Area Command in, in the Valley. So I would have a supervisor that, that manages all of the outlying areas and make that its, its own separate structure, command structure, so that we can get better policing t to those areas. I think they feel under-policed at this time. Their public safety influence at Metro isn't what it should be. But also, we need to change the, the idea of what Metro's fundamental purpose is. The Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department's purpose is to provide public safety for the for the for Clark County everywhere in Clark mm -hmm. County Th that's a leadership role that the sheriff needs to assume and I will take that job on in that fashion as the sheriff I'm as responsible for children at school as I am for people for tourists on the strip and I don't think that message been sent before at least not in the time that I've been in Las Vegas and I believe it's time to bring, a, to bring more equality to policing across the valley, and not only it be equality. I wanna bring neighborhoods the policing they ask for, not the policing I tell them they need. Sometimes I don't believe that, uh, that uh, the neighborhood leadership really feels like they have influence at Metro, and I wanna give them that voice. Well, I have so many questions with you on our third segment, so I heard some education or the school, I had that question too. And okay. also, you can also address the uh, place of the Raiders location, is that also safety? That's some of my question. The second question. The third question, are we ready for the uh, teacher to carry a gun to protect their children? So that's but my do, fourth question. But do you find that it used to be Las Vegas? This may have been fine 20 years ago, 30 years ago, but isn't the whole concept of the Metro Police for a county that's larger than the state of Connecticut, that's hundreds of square miles, isn't it perhaps a new model to have actual local police departments in many of these facilities and have a sheriff for the county, but let the municipalities have their own self-rule in terms of policing? I'm isn't certainly, that perhaps an issue? I'm certainly open to that discussion. My position on it right now, though, is that we already have a police department in North Las Vegas. The city of Las Vegas has their own marshals. UNLV has a police department. CSN has a police department. Mesquite has a police department. Metro polices about 600,000, 700,000. Um, and, and by policing, I mean providing public safety, direct patrol in all of unincorporated Clark County, the city of Las Vegas, the city of Laughlin, and a few other small areas like Searchlight. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't pr propose breaking that up because I think it's efficient the way that it is. I just think it needs to be managed better at the leadership, at the top of the leadership structure. And one of those things that needs to be done is we need to break the good old boy syndrome that the only, the only ideas that matter are the ones that I invite to the table. I, I'd like to see, I'd like to see differing ideas and I'd like to see competition for ideas at the top level so that we give people the best policing, the ideas that work the best. And also we bring in the community and ask, what do you want? And I think that's where the disconnect is right now. And, and lastly, and perhaps because I'm a driver on, around, I'm sure you too, one of the biggest complaints is a lack of law enforcement, the real enforcement of traffic, for example, speeding on the highways, on the local streets. It seems that they don't care uh, that you go on some expressway when the speed limit's 65, you see cars going 90. Right. Uh, you go down roads on Canyon Fairways area where it says uh, 35 and they go 50. If you go 40, get feet. Uh, it doesn't seem to be much of an enforcement uh, on the driving or the speeding, whether it's tourists or local people, uh, especially outside the strip area. Uh, is that a valid point or not? Well, it's definitely a valid point, and I think there are two things at work here that need to be changed. Uh, over a decade ago, I worked with, with Metro and the other agencies to put together a plan to address aggressive and, and uh, reckless drivers. 
and and to actually go after the worst of the drivers not mm -hmm. just people who are speeding a person doing 90 in this city is a reckless driver those are the people we need to be targeting not moms who are going 10 miles an hour over at 35 in a 35 area now don't get me wrong i'm not saying that's okay yeah. but i'm saying let's go to the people who are most likely to cause a fatal collision and the other thing i would do is i want to make sure we send a police officer to every crash hold on to your thought we're yes. going to go to the third segment and we'll continue the questions and hopefully you can answer my question too we'll be right, right back